in the enterprise edition of Cerberus using the event manager along with a command line client such as curl you can create an event that will transfer an uploaded file to another server in this video today I'm going to show you how to configure that first we're going to need to set up our rule this rule will detect the file uploaded to the uploaded slash temp folder by username batch underscore process and will execute a batch file operation to upload the file to another server. Let's set up our new rule. Go to the event rules page of the event manager and click on the new button. The add a new event rule dialog will appear. Select file transfer event as the rule type for your new rule. This event type will cause the rule to be triggered whenever a file transfer takes place. Now we need to enter a name for our rule. For example, forward uploaded file. Press the add a new rule button on the add a new rule dialog to save this and add the new event rule. The event rule will be selected and ready for editing on the edit rules page. Now we're going to need to select the rule matching mode and also add the rule conditions. For our example, we're going to select match of all filters match mode. Selecting this option means that this rule will only be triggered whenever the rule event occurs and if all the conditions listed are fulfilled. Now we need to add some rule conditions. In our example, to limit our rule to only trigger when a file is uploaded to a specific folder and by a specific user, we need to add three conditions or filters to the rule. We need to ensure that this is an upload and not a download. We're going to create a filter to trigger only on an upload. Under match these conditions, click new. Select the D as a download variable from the conditions drop down list. Select equals as the comparison and set the value to false. We need another filter that only triggers when our user batch process uploads a file. We're going to go back into under match these conditions and click new again and select the U username variable from the conditions drop down list. Select equals as a comparison and set the value to batch process. Finally, we only want this rule to trigger whenever the file is uploaded to the forward slash uploads forward slash temp folder. Click new, select the RFP remote file path variable from the conditions drop down list. Select starts with as the comparison and set the value to forward slash uploads forward slash temp. In order to upload a file to another server, we will need to execute a program on the server machine that can be invoked by servers to upload the file. There are several command line clients available, but for an example today, we're going to use curl. For this rule, we will use curl to upload the file using ssh sftp to another folder. To use curl as part of an event rule action, first we will need to add it as an available executable target on the events target page. Go to the event targets page of the event manager. Then press the new button at the top of the event targets page. A dialog will prompt you for the type of target you wish to add. Select executable target. Under the executable target edit box, press the folder icon and select the file path to the curl executable. Finally, press the update button to the right of the executable path edit box to add curl as an available event rule action target. Great, now that we've added curl as the executable target, we need to add some rule actions. When an event matches all the conditions of a rule, then the rule actions are carried out. In our example, we want to re-upload a newly uploaded file to another server using curl. Under perform these actions, press new. Add the launcher executable action and select curl as the executable path as the operation sub action. Where it says command line, you're going to need to enter a command. Here's an example command for the command line. This example is curl specific and says to log into the SFTP server at 127.0.0.1 and upload the file to the forward slash FTP root forward slash test folder using the credentials upload user and password test. The file name of the original uploaded file is appended to the remote file path using the variable LFN and the target file to be uploaded is referenced by the full local file path variable LFP. 
That is the full file path to the file that was just uploaded, the file that kicked off this event. Press Add, and now your rule is saved. You're now ready to transfer files to another server. For more help, check out our website at www.cerberusftp.com. Thanks.